Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durber with my lovely wife, Alberta Durber, and we are just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's Word once again. Luke 1, 37 says, With God nothing is impossible when you put your Who was trust that? Was in that God. Who or, I mean... Was it Oral Roberts, Benny Hinn, one of them? But Luke 1, 37 says, With God nothing shall be impossible. You got God with you? I think that was, I do, always. You got me with you. Yeah, but more important, I have God with me. And you know. If it wasn't for God, you would be with me. <laughs> this is, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. Well, I'm doing marvelous. Oh, it's a Monday's marvelous, but I'm doing wonderful anyway. That's right, because. That's just as good as Mark. Because it's my birthday week. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it's my birthday week. Now, do we have to do we have to rewind the tape to January? Yeah, you go to when January. You I didn't carry on like that. No, I don't carry on like that. <laughs> go to January. <laughs> we'll put it up tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, so you're doing marvelously wonderful. I am. We're wonderfully marvelous. Wonderfully marvelous. I am. Well, I am. it's a good day. Because my anniversary is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> and what's our anniversary? 28th. I don't know. You keep saying the 28th, but I thought it was the 27th. It's because we were away. We weren't away that long. We it's didn't stay that long in Tahoe. It's the 28th. You're just trying to get another day in there. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> no, that's... No. You don't even have the was, marriage August... license, do you? You lost that, or you just... I mean, I lost that. The original one. And that, <laughs> that was... That's, God had only You God. mean the video and everything? The pictures? No, the pictures. I tore up the pictures. You tore them up? Yeah, because I couldn't stand the way I looked. I looked oh, like I was, that was classic, huh? Yeah, I looked like I was... Uh, you was? Working the casinos. You were? Well... <laughs> and I wasn't. We were both stoned when we got married. I probably had to be. We renewed our vows, though. Yeah. Glory be to God. And we got born again. So anyway, son, uh, this is a marvelous Monday. We're glad you're able to join us. We're getting all caught up in our birthday and anniversary. Uh, a prayer line is right there at the bottom of the screen, our helpline. And we have qualified prayer ministers there that can pray with you, for you, whatever your need may be. Prayer starts things and prayer ends things. As well, we have a lot of material uh, to help you in your spiritual walk. If you go to our website, faithvictorychurch.us, scroll down there to the bookstore. We got books, we got music, and you can go to the archives. There's all kinds of sermons on there. Uh, just uh, and, and Faith Victory Radio, 24 hours a day, seven days yeah, a week. You can click on that. that and just let it keep playing, and it randomly selects RVN music and uh, J Air music and preaching messages, preaching, yeah. and so it's a wonderful Am tool, especially if, if if you're working somewhere out in the garage or in your office or whatever it may be. Maybe you on 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 a track, you know, and and you got your headphones on or whatever. But uh, we're excited about getting that up and running, and it is up and running. I was listening to it the other day. You have, uh, to, you have to put that on my phone so I can. Don't tell me how to go there. Just well, Pastor Eric's gonna get us an app. Okay. To where we, you can just click on it and go straight to it. Okay. All of the, you know, all this uh, media stuff that's available these days is just really a, a, a blessing. It it the uh, new media stuff. Well, yeah. And where you could say what has to be said. All of it. All of it. And uh, be able to get the word out, mm -hmm. how we can get the word out. Where before, you know, you were limited uh, in how you could do that. You were limited to a particular uh, program time or whatever. Now, somebody can listen to uh, your message over and over again uh, on the rebroadcast or whatever. So, are you ready, hon? 
What are you doing? I was just checking to see you're on our on our anniversary. But of course on I'm Saturday. on. I'm the head. Of, I'm the head of the house. But it's on a Saturday anyway. So. Well. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's get started. Hallelujah. Okay. Today, August twenty third. Our scripture verse is Psalm 119 and verse 7. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. Mm. Praise is a result of learning. Your praise is only equal to what you know about Father God. If all you know is that Jesus has saved you from eternal hell, that alone should produce praise. That's the truth right there. We kind of forget that, you know. We, we take it kind of lightly, but that's very powerful. <laughs> it's like, shh. When you learn the righteous judgments of God, your praise increases with your learning. Not the quality of your praise. Quantity. Increases. Oh, I'm sorry. Not the quantity. That's why you need the book. <laughs> not, your, not the quantity of your praise increases necessarily, but the quality increases. When I first realized that not only were my sins forgiven, but that Father God had judged me righteous, my praise was automatically at a higher level simply because I had gone to a greater understanding of my righteousness or right standing. So when I praised the Lord, I was praising him as a result of learning more. If my parents said we kids were going to have ice cream, my attitude became positive toward everyone in the family because I learned about something good. And when I learned we were going to have ice cream with blackberries on top, my positive attitude increased. The more I learned what treats my parents were providing that day, the better effect it had on my attitude. When we increase, oh, this is good. When we increase in understanding what Father God has provided, our praise increases. That that sentence right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, people just don't dig into the word or they're not being taught either in church. But they, and even when you're taught in church, you have to get in the word yourself and see what that preacher is saying. Make sure he's saying it according to the word. But so many people are just so stuck on not going to hell. Listen, listen. Like that's good enough. Listen. When I open up my birthday present. Yeah. That you're getting me. <laughs> I got you. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sit there and say, all right, let's go eat now. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say, Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Just what I always wanted. Or whatever. It's an automatic when somebody has done something for exactly. you to be thankful, right? Well, how much more? Father God, as we learn what he has provided, he's not only provided heaven for us and, and, and that he's made us righteous, he's provided healing, he's provided prosperity, blessing, redeemed from the curse. He's provided peace, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. He has provided these things. How can we stay silent? That's the thing. Most people don't really know that. Christians I'm talking about. Of course, the heathen don't know, but Christians. And that's why the heathen are so lost because Christians aren't giving an example to the world about what God does and has for them, yeah. you know. I mean, they're walking around. Well, let's talk as, about let's talk about believers. Well, I let's was talk, talking about talk, believers. Let's talk about. <laughs> no, I'm talking about. Let's talk about those that are understanding their righteousness, because our springboard verse says, "I will praise thee with uprightness of heart." When, when I shall, shall I have learn learned your righteous thy judgments. righteous judgments? There's something that happens when you begin to learn about your new birth. Let me let me say something here. You know, one thing that we learned real, real early in life, in our Christian walk, very early, I think it was at the farmhouse, I believe it was, 
And you really brought it out. Uh, you, you know, I would be sitting talking the word and nothing else to talk about because that's all that meant anything to us and still does, really. But I remember when we were reading um, John, First John, third, Three John, no, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper. Third, third John, John too. I said three, it didn't sound right. Third John, too. Uh, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. And I remember distinctly, all of a sudden we learned, we're not supposed to be constantly getting healed, getting healed. We are to be walking in health. In, walking in health. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't care what's attacking your body, no. Mm -hmm. I walk in divine health. Mm -hmm. nothing, can, nothing can prosper that don't belong to God and me mm -hmm. on my body. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you get a hold of that, then you're no more trying to get healed, get healed. You realize, no, uh-uh. You know, like people would say to me, uh, I'm going to the doctor to find out what this is so I have a name so I can pray right. You don't need a name. It's from hell. Anything that isn't good is from hell. Well, and the Holy Ghost leads different people different ways. I know. But, but right here, it's talking about when you begin to get a revelation of your new creation yes. reality, it in turn affects your praise. Yeah. And so, uh, well, you your, praise a God let, for divine let God arise and his enemies be scattered. He inhabits the praises, praises of his absolutely. people. So God wants us to learn more and more and more about that we are in right standing with him, the righteous judgments of God. And when that happens, it you can't you can't stay silent. No, you it, can't. It's it's impossible. It's just like when somebody genuinely gets born again, they can't shut up. They they tell somebody, they tell their coworkers, That's they right. tell they tell their family, yeah. and, and the coworker may think they're crazy, the family may think they're crazy. They usually but, do. <clears throat> They can't stay silent. They can't understand. They, 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 they're so jubilant about what happened. Well, when you begin to be taught, like you said earlier, you have to be taught. When you're, when you're being instructed out of the Word of God, God's righteous judgments, praise is just going to happen. That's Last right. night in church, when we were just going through the Word of God, spontaneous praise because of... <clears throat> the righteous judgments of God concerning a victory over death. And people were just jumping up. I didn't have to say anything. No. People were just jumping up and spontaneously praising the Lord over God's righteous judgment. Yes. And so uh, when you're being taught uh, contrary to that, when you're being taught you know, we're just all sinners, you know, uh, and, and, you know, we're just imperfect beings, you know, and, and you know, God loves me with all my faults and all that stuff. Oh, Jesus. It, 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 it quenches yeah. genuine praise. But when you're being taught constantly when, that uh, when righteousness is being revealed to you from faith to faith, your praise keeps going up. Yes. Oh, yeah. It becomes more and more pure because it's not coming out of oppression. It's right. not coming out of condemnation. Right. It's coming out of a righteous judgment yeah. that God has judged. And because you're understanding that, it, it well, I, I, got, I got to praise the Lord. And, and it's coming out of your heart. Praise, praise should not be coming out of your heart. Head, it can start there. It starts there, there yeah. For, but it comes out of your heart, and you, you, there's a shift that goes on. When I, you know, we used to sing that song. When I think of His goodness and what He's done for me, dance, dance, dance. Right. Dance, dance. Uh, well, a lot of times, yeah, you know, we have to we have to think about what He has provided, and because circumstances can try to overwhelm. Yes. Yes. And 
the pain can try to overwhelm the 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 bill can try to quench the spirit or whatever it may be and you need to get back over into your new creation reality and get your praise on and and if you're if you're struggling getting your praise on get you a good dose of righteousness i mean you get you get a good dose of i'm not, i ain't talking about you know yeah i know i'm a new creation no i'm talking about going deeper with that because we until well probably even after we leave this planet we're still going to be learning not probably after we leave this planet we're yeah. still going to be learning about this image that we're created in god god's image and when we when when look how how awesome is it you know we were talking earlier about how we were dope heads and and, and goofy and crazy Jeez. and now we're in the ministry teaching God's people how to live successfully. How awesome is it that we're washed in the blood? How awesome is it that uh, we are children of the king? We are co totally, we have covenant totally rights. Totally different. Saul, Paul and Silas were in jail. Were in jail, Shh. beaten. And, uh, you know, if anyone in the natural want to just cry about their situation it could have been them but no at midnight they prayed <laughs> in praise right and they shook the whole foundation of that. well how, how can you stir your praise up when you don't feel like praising you think about what he's done That's right in your life right. and when you think about what he's done then praise comes out and when you start praising for what he's done then you then all of a sudden everything gets in perspective because you know you got a seed sown for that you know you believe you received all that so you get your praise on for what is coming into exactly. your life so you're praising god for what he's done you're praising god that here you are today alive and well and knowing what you know Walk and in, learning in more, divine health. and you're praising him for what is uh, is is coming into your life. We got all kinds of things to praise God about, but that new creation reality, on when you just get thanking God and praising God, Lord, I just praise you that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I remember days, months, and years of starting out every morning crying. Because of the situation and praise start out i'm dancing and carrying on you know to praise music crying because i was under such pressure you know, this is in the beginning mm -hmm. you know and, and there would still be times down the road where sure something you know something just kind of trying to work wow, out. you yeah. know caught you by surprise somehow and i mean i start out you know, praising and singing these wonderful songs, dancing, but crying. And before five minutes, I mean, the Spirit of God just, you know. Sure. When we were in the camper, you'd come out of the bedroom and you'd say that this whole camper was fl flooded with the presence of God because I'd be out there. I would, be, out I, would be, I would be on my knees with the door shut and that, only a 30-foot camper, right? And... Uh, so that was my place of meeting with God, and you had the rest of the camper, the little living room kitchen part, and you'd be in there praising the Lord. I'm in there praying. That door, I'd open it up, and it'd be like, uh, you know, being outside in a in the hot sun and walking into an air condition. It was that. It was that. Dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. You have the presence yeah. of the Lord in there, and I'm like, whoa, okay, okay. Praise God. But I'd start out, you know, and yeah. with this, with this, but that's, you know, when, when you were talking, just before I started talking, you know, I kept thinking how so many Christians have gotten so lazy. They just think God's going to just do, well, here's the thing. You have to apply. I don't know what I'm talking about. Read that last paragraph. What you're learning. Read the last paragraph. We're talking to people that aren't lazy. Well, I'm sure there's a couple out there. No, they ain't lazy. Oh, okay. So they down. Read the last paragraph. When we increase in understanding, those of you that already know all of this stuff and are doing it, 
what Father God has provided, our praise increases. We, that's exactly what we've been saying. When we increase in understanding what Father God has provided, our praise increases. We benefit from learning more of what he has provided. And in turn, Father God benefits from receiving the higher praise that he deserves. So learn and awake to righteousness and praise your God. You know, in church here, Alberta, with all our little grandkids running around, oh, you know, they come up to me and precious. they'll hand me a, a, a picture of, you know, they, they, they drew a picture of me, right? <laughs> I just saw and I'll, it. And I'll go, oh my, isn't that wonderful? That's me, yeah, that's, that's you, that's Mama Alberta. <laughs> Oh, that is so wonderful. And they're just lit up, right? But you know, as they grow, you can't even make out who that is. But it blesses me because I see where they're at, what they're doing. Yeah. But you know, one of them, as they grow up, those pictures will change. Of course. Because their learning changes. Mm -hmm. And their skill level changes because they're growing up. Yeah. And so one day that you we may have an artist out of one of the we one, have, yeah. one, out of out of one of our uh, grandkids. We have but a few. what I'm saying, all of them, if you showed them a picture when they're a teenager of something they did when they were three, <laughs> they I, I guarantee you they could do it better, even if they're not I an hope artist, so. right? No, the, the yeah, point being, right is is they're growing up and the, and they're learning more and more. Are you following what I'm Absolutely. saying? So as we grow up, uh, the details of the picture that we're painting of ourselves, if you will, gets clearer and clearer, or God is painting. Let me say it that way. The picture that God is painting of who we really are becomes clearer and clearer and we're not seeing ourselves uh, the way we had painted the picture. We're seeing ourselves the way God has painted the picture. That's it right there. And That's the important thing right there, instead of seeing ourselves. Well, have you ever had your picture taken um, when you didn't want your picture taken? Many, most times. <laughs> and you and you tell went, somebody, delete that. Yeah, I don't. Right? Didn't have your makeup on or your hair wasn't done up or whatever, whatever. Right? I don't like my picture. All right? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, when we're growing up in God, here's here's our here's our real picture. Here's our mirror. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And the more the we learn that picture, the more we learn that image, you can't help but thank God uh, for being delivered. Honey. For being forgiven. For being healed for being blessed, for being prospered, for being called, for being anointed, for being uh, on the team in God's in Father God's business. When I look at, at you and I, especially when I look at you, only because I know what God, I knew you before God, <laughs> before Christ, BC, <laughs> and after. Yeah, you knew the calm. Philip Derber. Yeah, well, and you were not, you were not calm. You were crazy. I know, but you, you, were knew, crazy. you knew Yes, me. same way you didn't know me right, right, at all. Right. In my really right, crazy state. Right. I already had started. We just compared notes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, but yet, even at the state that we met each other, mm -hmm. the remarkable change. I mean, just at where we were, and we weren't as bad as we were before we met, you mm -hmm. know? And I mean, there's no way. And we also know ourselves. So I know the miracle that has taken place in my life. Mm -hmm. The ma let's, major let's, miracle. Let, let, me, let me say this wow, in closing. Right. Let's say we're at a ball game. Yeah. And our team is, it's a close game, right? And you gotta go to the bathroom. And you don't want to leave, but you got to go to the bathroom. So you run to the bathroom, and when, you, when you're in the bathroom, you hear all this screaming. Ah, I 
and it's happened many times. Right? Not that I and you come understand. back out, and and you and you get to where uh, your family and friends are. What happened? What happened? Because you don't have no praise going on yet, because you don't know what happened. All of a sudden, they, they said, "Man, uh, so and so hit a grand slam home run." And we won. Well, what's going to come out? Yeah. But now you learned right. what just happened. You heard, but you didn't know the real reason for the excitement until you were told what it was. And our time has gotten wow. away from us on this marvelous Monday. Yeah, it sure did. Keep your praise going on. We benefit from learning more of what he has provided. In turn, Father God benefits receiving the higher praise than he deserves to so learn and wake to righteousness and praise your God. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Verse 4. Says. Where the word of a king is. Fear his power. Be a blessing. <laughs> the Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24-7. So you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.